<sighs> I've been sitting here for the last 45 minutes asking God to give me the words to say. There, there are things that we know in this world. There are things that we see, but we don't really see because our mind just can't wrap around that actually being reality. But there are things in this world that on the outside we know are bad and yeah there's some corruption and yeah they are politicians and they're leaders and you know there's some bad preachers in churches not all of them just there's, there's people everywhere that aren't really good but you don't know how not good they really are then we hear about things that we still don't want to believe because we believe what we've been told our entire lives, believe in the country, believe in our leadership, believe in those that are making the decisions for us in this country. Those that are telling us we need to go to war to fight some battle. Those that tell us that we need to share the bathroom that our little girls go in with, with men that dress differently and, and I, I can be open-minded, I can do that, but there's a point where something just needs to have a line drawn. There are a lot of things in our country right now that the line is fuzzy on because we, we don't necessarily know where to stand on something. And that can be on, it, it, can, it can be on abortion rights, it can be on gay marriage, it can be on your Democrats and your Republicans, but there are things that go way beyond any of that to where there is a definite line of good and evil and there is no fuzzy, warm fuzzy in between where you can sit. The Pizzagate thing, that's a pretty calm, calm, easy to take in name to put on all of this and I have known through the works of, of Kevin Annett and many others that have been working to bring down the pedophiles that are in the major churches that are in the major leadership in our country and in other parts of this world and in, in business our major corporations until you can truly see and wrap your head around who all's been involved in what they are actually, factually doing? This is not a joke. This is not a hoax. This is not drama for the media. This is not some distraction. This is something very real and very sinister and very vile that is going on and has been going on for a very, very long time. And when the rest of the American people get at least half an understanding of how our country is set up and how things are run and realize that well <laughs> I've asked God to please help me get through this tonight you know in Detroit I think it was Detroit or New York it was a major city that there's a statue of Baphomet that got put up the Satanists wanted their right to put up a statue of Baphomet and, and Baphomet the picture the statue looks like um, the devil card if you if you do tarot cards it looks like your 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 basic picture of Satan okay so you got the dude with the horns but he's sitting in a chair and he's got little children around him so the Satanists wanted this statue up and great freedom of speech you know freedom of religion okay we get that but I, I saw a picture today that I don't I don't know if I can actually describe but I'm gonna try because people need to get an understanding and I understand if you can't look at the pictures because I'm one that I can't I've seen I've known about it I've seen a few but there it was a dinner table and there were children sitting around the dinner table getting ready to eat. And on the big turkey platter in the middle of the table, you could see the, the thermometer 
and you could see the, the meat thermometer, the temperature thermometer, and the legs were tied up. And where the fingernails were, there were bandages. And it was probably about an eight-year-old that had been cooked and stuffed. This is sick. This is vile. That was not a hoax. This is only part of what these people are doing. And until we, as the American people and people of the world, can get a grip, because it's difficult to get a grip on this, and realize that those people that vote, that want us to vote for them, that want to make the decisions for our children in our schools and for our health and for our liberty and our freedom and and all that, when you realize that they truly are doing things to get their power from an evil entity and however they want to do it, you can call it spirit cooking, you can call it pizza gate, you can call it just simple pedophilia, satanic worship, cannibalism. The things they're doing to the children of of our country in this world, the child trafficking. If you have your child next to you, hug them, hold them, and love them purely and pray for them every single day for God and his angels to watch over your children because there is evil out there that wants your child. And so we, we're we on a stand tonight. I've made it known to my family that I do not have a death wish. I'm in this fight to win it. There's a reason I'm on this earth, and it's because there's an evil on this earth that needs not to be here anymore. I am going to be here until I can't, and I'm going to fight until this evil is gone. And I am very thankful for the TFR family and for those of us here that are willing to stand up to this. There is no fuzzy place to be. For those in the media, they keep trying to hide this and cover it up. Shame on you. Shame on you. If you are anything that you think you are in the mainstream media and you're all that and then some and you got your million dollar hairdo and all the fake boobs and makeup and you look like a stinking plastic Barbie up there on the mainstream news giving us what we want to hear and you try to hide this, shame on you. I call you out because if you are not up there to tell the truth, then you have lost all respect for me at least. Of course, you lost my respect a long time ago with the crap that you put out there. But people need to figure out what they're going to do about this because it cannot just get swept under the rug. Because I tell you what, I'm going to be one of the people who's going to take that rug and yank it out from under them. You can't hide this. It's our children. It's I'm going to go random here. Water parks, Disneyland, Disney World, all these great places for the children. All the government programs that have been going on that we're starting to hear about more, the MK Ultra, all that, the, the things that they have tried, not tried, the things that they have done to take the innocent in their pure innocence and to take that hurts the kids, hurts the family, hurts the nation, hurts the world. And I, I for one, I'm going to do what I can to bring this to an end. And I think that's about as far as I go right now, Bill. Okay. Th thank you, Sharon. I, I think that you got the message pretty clear. 